welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. It's a face shave time, I'm going to be using a straight razor again, and if you did catch my latest video which went out, actually went out today, which is the, what's the date today, the 12th of October, might have been yesterday night, I'm not sure, but I woke up to a few messages, sort of 90% of them were good, and then there was a couple of ones that made me think, oof, what have I really done and said in this video, and sometimes I do ramble on and talk a lot of shit, generally, but I took it down, I read the comments, I replied to a couple of comments and then I watched the video because I hadn't actually watched it. I don't watch my videos back, I record them and I put them on. You know, you get me as I am. I don't edit really anything out of videos. Sometimes I'll piss around a little bit, but I don't mess about with them. And really, I went, I watched it back and then I realised that had I watched it back, it would never have been put online because it, I just saw sort of went off on a total different tangent to what I was going, what I was looking for really. What I was trying to say about straight razors was... There's people out there that hone, and those hones aren't necessarily going to work for you. And like, don't give up. You'll find something. Someone will be able to hone something for you if you don't end up doing it yourself and finding a way yourself. But yeah, I mean, I just want to apologise to Stallion, Ruds, Strike Gold Shave, and Sprecher, Max Sprecher. I think basically I, I use the word shit all the time, and it was the wrong choice of word. <laughs> I shouldn't really have used that word. There's ways and means of making things so that you can say them without making it sound shit. You know, you can talk shit, but you don't have to say shit things. And yeah, so it was a bit, it was a bit embarrassing really, it's not my sort of style. I'm very honest and upfront with things, and when I fuck up, I put my hands up, my hands are up. And yeah, interestingly, I did message a stallion, and he wasn't faced at all, he didn't give a shit, he's a bit like me, you know, but they do still eat at me when things like that happen, and it was, I had to deal with it sort of thing, and the best way to deal with it was to get rid of it and apologise, really, it was all I could sort of do. And one thing that Stallion said is the way he deals with stuff is when he goes to a restaurant and the food shit, the service shit and everything shit, he just never goes back and we never use that restaurant again. And he deals with shaving stuff like that, you know, he'll use something maybe off camera, he might use it on camera and it never sees the light of day and then it's never seen ever again. I am sort of different in, in the fact of that, I don't know whether that's a there's two people in the world, you know, he sent, he doesn't send stuff back, he just doesn't go back. I don't, having been, I know this is really daft, but having owned cafes and things like that, I want to know, so I would rather someone send it back and say it wasn't very good. But there's a way means of saying it, when someone comes over and said I was the meal, I don't turn and go, it was fucking shit, the chef's fucking shit, everything's shit, you know. And that was pretty much what I did in that video, when I was talking about other people's homes and things like that, and it's not the way to do it. I'm polite about it, you know, look, the food wasn't very good, blah, blah, blah. The edge isn't very good, you know, it doesn't work for me. That food wasn't nice, I didn't really enjoy it. It could have done with someone else, you know. There's ways and means of doing it. My hands are up, I apologise to those guys, and it wasn't, I wasn't having a personal dig at them. I watch the style, you know, I watch Rudd's Strike Gold Shave, Frank over there, and I not, don't have much comment, much contact with Matt Sprecher. I've never spoken to the guy ever, but he's got a great reputation, and he makes beautiful razors, so, Really, I dug a hole, jumped in the hole and I was struggling to get out and the only way I could deal with it was to apologise and get rid of the video. So if you haven't seen it, you'll never see it. And like I say, if you have seen it and you've commented, thank you. And if you've watched it and you didn't think it was that bad, thank you for not commenting like that. But I'd rather hear the truth, you know. I don't want people to just piss off from the channel, give me a bad name and then I don't know anything about it. I'd rather you just speak up and let me know. You know, those invisible thumbs down as it come along, they're a pain in the ass because I'd rather just know why you thumbs down it, you know. See why you do it and fuck off, as far as I'm concerned. I don't really care then. But I'm done and dusted, I apologise, and let's move on to the shave. Four minutes in, I've done absolutely nothing. I'm just going to take a little thing off my screen so I can see the screen nicely. The soap for tonight is Independence Hall from Heritage Hill. Now this is a very, very woodsy scent. I can smell it coming up now. I put a little bit of water on top of it just before, probably five, ten minutes ago. So I can smell the scent up here. Now it's Probably too woodsy for me, it's, it's very, very wood forward. Very much along the lines of Marlowe wood from Moyle Grooming, which I don't use too much, it's quite punchy. And so I'm just going to wet my face. This is a no prep shade. You can see I've actually, so where is it? Just here. I got myself yesterday as well. <laughs> with this same razor, I'm using it again. Just to see how I, how I go today with a daily shave. I'm just going to pour the water off the top of the soap into my hand, which has gone very cold now. Now, Heritage Hill Shaving Company, what is it? Yeah, Heritage Hill Shave Company, are actually run by two blokes, Josh, and I think it's John, 
jo is it John? Shit, mate, I know you emailed, you just emailed me. But sent me a lovely email and just really, really nice guy. So, Heresy Hill. Now, this is an, I think this is an older label from memory. It's got different stuff in it as well. This isn't, um, I don't think it's got, I don't know, has it got cedar wood? I don't, I don't think it has cedar wood anymore. I think it's got sandalwood because I don't think I could get the cedar wood, but I'm, I could be wrong. But anyway, sent me a nice email. Nice guys, and they make a fantastic soap. Now, I did talk about this soap on my videos. This is six ounces of soap. This is a lot of soap. You know, so it, there's no ingredients on here. The ingredients are now on the side labels of the, the newer soaps. And I think that the labels on top have changed as well. But six ounces of soap, they also do a three ounce variant of the soap as well. I can't remember how much the three ounce variant is. But it's, for me, three ounces is, is a good amount of soap. You could get through that reasonably quickly and move on to another scent. Obviously, I've got so much soap, I never get through a soap. This will never, ever get finished in my den, ever. I've got so much soap. And this one will most likely go away in the giveaway that I'm doing for my 5,000 subscribers. Yes, I haven't forgotten. I'm just, it's just not the best time right now. I'm waiting so that I can definitely do it the best I can so that it's, it can be done and dusted the way it should be. Right, the brush of choice. This brush has been getting a hell of a using my Strike Gold Shave. This was very kindly gifted to me from Frank over at Strike Gold Shave. It's got a 25mm rhodium knot made by Serjan Danicic over at Rhodium Knots. This is a fantastic brush and I think proportion wise it looks absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to dip the tips again, just flick out most of the excess and then straight on the top of this lovely soap. Now, Heritage Hill Shaving, or Heritage Hill Shave Soap has really worked its way up in my den in terms of like, sort of top soaps. I have a sort of, I've got a draw system. All my soaps are stored in a draw setup, like a chest of drawers. Tall boy, we call them over here. And, well, it's a tall boy. It's a type of, you know, six drawers, not just two or three. And it has made its way into my top drawer. Based mainly, not, not so much the scents, mainly the performance and the post shave is excellent now, I've just loaded this pretty heavy I haven't actually counted this I normally do a 13 second loader I've wasted my own technique there technique what are you talking about so yeah so here we go Giving that a rinse off. I don't like having soap residue on top of the soap. I like it to look nice and clean. And of course, if this does go to giveaway, which it most likely will, I've got another three of those. These soaps, thanks to John Lucerian, Lucerian. And there we go. So that's the soap there on top of the brush. And let's just paint it on. The knot in this handle is by far and away my favourite so far from Sir Jan over at Rhodium Knots. It doesn't feel quite as dense as the other two, which I actually prefer because it's still got heaps of backbone. It's just got a really strong cedar wood scent. I mean, it is very, very cedar wood forward. I'm not getting, I'm not getting any patchouli, that's for sure, so far. It might just be a tiny bit of it in terms of a little bit of sweetness, floral sweetness in it. It's a very wood. <laughs> I've got to take my hat off to these guys. They make tasty soaps. That's four soaps, all tasted, all taste pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah welcome to another cut of off where tasting soap is the name of the game. As you can see, I'm growing a lovely head of hair here. I might actually grow my hair back and see how I go. No, I don't think so. I've just been so, so busy with my kids. It's been the school holidays and I've been, Max has been playing loads of football. Millie's been dancing in competitions, which she danced beautifully and won her contemporary solo. And she also won the All Ages own choreography solo as well. So she beat kids that were, there was 16 kids I think, and some of them were 19, 20 years old. She's only 15 in her own choreography and she won that. So that's very exciting for her. And, She's been at it for three years now, three and a half years at Catherine Mantle 
and she absolutely loves it and she's it's been a hard slog I'll, I'll tell you she's it's been no walk in the park for her she's went from being one of the top dancers in her local dance school to bottom of the pile nowhere near the top at a new dance school and she's worked her arse off and she's finally seeing you know the, the she's it's all coming to fruition everything all that work she's putting in and it really highlights the good things don't come to those who wait it comes to those who go out and fucking earn it go out and work for it and she's really she epitomizes that and it's great for not only for us but it's great for our little brothers as well to watch what hard work and, and perseverance and dedicating your life to things really does because it 15 years old to dedicate your life to full-time dancing it's very difficult for her she's only just recently she's just got a first boyfriend which was difficult for me but I'm slowly coming to grips with it thankfully his dad's Scottish he plays pool he likes football and he plays snooker as well and the boy that she is that they are now boyfriend and girlfriend he is a Manchester United fan so lucky him because if it was Liverpool, they'd be getting papped straight out. There's no freaking way that's happening. That shit ain't marrying into my family. I hope you're watching Brendan. Right, this lad is becoming ridiculous. So apologies for the, the long videos as well, but... I can't help myself at the moment. I'm enjoying the shaves. I really am enjoying them. I think that's wet enough. And I haven't even splayed the brush, so there you go. I've almost done pretty much like a stallion type lather. So there's not much in there, it doesn't look like much, but that lather's really wet, so I'm just going to go with it. I think I've wasted enough time where I'm at, 12 minutes, I'm just lathered up. Technically this is an 8 minute lather though, if you take off the 4 minutes of crap at the front. Well, it's not crap, but you know what I mean. Right, gold dollar, W59. One thing I noticed with this one is it's got, absolutely, it's got no writing on it. Look, you would never know who made this razor, other than the fact that it, it quite clearly is a gold dollar, but it's, in terms of quality, it's far superior to the, the Gold Dollar 100, which was sent over by the Stallion. It's just a better built razor. It's got wooden scales. This is a little bit crap. Hang on a minute. Silent sneeze. But one thing I love about it, I just like the look of it. I think if this was an artisan made razor and it was made perfectly, it would be beautiful. I love the length of the blade, it's nice and small. The tang is great, it's got great for holding on to you get two fingers on the grooves there. I think it's a cracking looking razor for what it is. And the steel so far, this is the full shave on this one. I have stropped this three times now. One, two, three, yeah, three times. So we'll see how it goes. I think I put 30 laps on it yesterday after using it. Still super smooth, it was still a great shave, but no doubt at some point I'm going to ruin it when I'm owning it. But yeah, so here we go. Like I say, I've only got 24 hours growth. Uh, the ladder is probably just actually a little bit on the dry side. Certainly falling off the blade nice and easy, that's for sure. Yeah, one thing I'm finding with straight razors, this one and the Gold Dollar 100 that I've got, post shave, I've got so little irritation. Even if I'm having a bit of a shit shave, it's still amazing. Now this one has bitten me a few times. It 
has had the toe ever so slightly muted, but I think Surjan, when he's rehoned it, I think he's put it back on again. And it's not been a bad thing because it's learned me to be very careful with the with the toe because it does dig in. Now of course, I just, there you go, see? That's the toe again. Now the other thing as well that was brought up in one of the comments, it was actually David Gonzalez that brought it up about the, the technique. Look, my technique's not great. It's getting better every shave for sure. I can feel the difference. But he was talking about angles, and I'm I'm still not. One hundred percent sure what the best angle is, but for me to get a smooth shave, I find you have to have that blade lying almost flat on your skin. I've just got a bit of blood on it from there. In order to get a close shave, that's just me. I don't think, from just for my actual use of straight razors, which isn't great. Even using the, the Feather Artist Club, I'm almost like I'm pretty much lying the whole thing flat on my skin. If I hold it at a 30 degree angle, or anything similar to a, to a double edged razor, it just seems to feel like it's plucking through the hairs. Now if the edge is good, which this is, it will still cut and it will still be reasonably comfortable, but just not comfortable enough. I don't find so it'd be interesting to see what everyone else does with this. I don't even when I watch quality straight razor shavers, you know, Stallion and Rudds and Kai Triska, Shaven Butcher, Frank Stromberg, Matty Lindholm. And then you've got your Chevette users, Dave Card. They don't have much, they don't have a big angle on the on the blade, it's, they do sit pretty flat on the skin. That's a good cut that. You see that? Right there. That's where the cut is. Once again, easy soap to work with. Tastes great. Right, I'm probably going to cut this cut open even more. You can see it's already weeping through the soap. It's a pretty good one, that. I cut myself at that for a while.
one thing I've learned is you can have all the technique in the world, but you still can't shave with a shit edge. You could, but it'd be just horrendous. It's just not comfortable. And a shit edge could just be an edge that's old, not been ever honed. It could be straight out of the the Boca factory or the wherever the other factories are. Right, against the grain, this might be a little bit stingy because I've only just shaved yesterday with it, so. Here we go. Pretty damn good again. It's very smooth, this is where I normally catch myself, so let's be prepared for a bit of blood. Maybe not. I did actually get through my whole sh I did get through my whole shave yesterday with one weeper. One cut, sorry, not a weeper, it was that one cut I showed you down here. And that was it. And it was only a little one and it wasn't with a toe. I don't know how I did it. I'm good. Go on a weep of it. And everywhere else looks okay. Look, I never get close enough with it. I, I'm getting closer for sure. So just feeling that there, it's not bad. You know, down here it's still a bit rough, but I catch that mainly with my down pass because that's against the green. And that is this next pass. But I do generally, I'll have a few, but I always pull my DE razor out just to get me over the line. Just to get me that BBS round the lips and things like that. So, so far, no irritation to the soap, which is good, because sometimes that can be an issue for me with, especially with heavily wooded soaps, wooded scents. You can see that, it's quite a, it's actually quite a good little slice that. I, I've never sliced myself like that with a straight razor, especially on my cheek. And of course, it's that that does it, that tiny little point right there. So you, you've got to be careful with straights, there's no, you've got to be straight careful with any razor you use really, even, even bloody cartridges.
see like that there, that blade is flat on my skin pretty much. The spine is touching my neck at the same time as the blade edge. It's, it's almost like honing, not honing, like stropping the razor. Got a little bit there as well. So I find that I have to do that to get smooth down here without slicing myself to bits and getting weepers everywhere. There we go. It's not brilliant. It's definitely not BBS. But once again, it's another great shave. It feels a little bit more sort of irritated than normal, but it is a daily shave. But that's very, very close. For me, anyway. You know, that's, that's never going to pass for a quality straight razor shaver. But at the end of the day, you're talking about most of these guys have been doing it for many, many years and are just brilliant at it. And it could be also the soap, maybe I'm just having a little reaction to the soap. I'm not great with super strong woodsy scents. I only get a wee bit here now just because I've touched it with a DE razor. But yeah, other than actually slicing and dicing myself with these razors, these straight razors, I get a better shave. I don't think I ever said that before. I used to get good shaves with it, but. It's almost like it's taking me all this time. to really start understanding a shave and this is supposed to be this is not meant to be rocket science shaving you know you should be able to pick any razor up learn how to use it and get great shaves but I have found with straights for whatever reason the edge doesn't seem to aggravate my skin quite as much as, as a double edge razor or a chevet those machined edges. If it's done by hand, it seems to be a little bit gentler on the skin. Albeit, I still get redness, I still get weepers, I still have a few, I still have my usual sort of problems, along with slices and dices. You know, but overall, the end product from a straight razor is better for me. And it's, it, it would be my sole shaving thing in the bed, well, I don't think it ever would be. I'd be very surprised if it did become that. I mean, it doesn't shave better than a carb razor at the moment in terms of my finished product. And once I've got the carb then part of it, I'm consistent with it over and over again. It's a really easy brush to clean out as well. Because it's not quite as dense. It's got a slightly higher loft, I think, as well. And I'm able to beat the shit out of this one in the towel. With a bit of malice and generally not lose any hairs from it, which is great. There's always a few little ones that look like they're sticking apart. I'll just check, just want to test that one. Nope. Nope. 
So I don't lose any hairs from it, it's just a great, great brush, great handle, great knot. That's actually the, the bloodiest thing I've got now, this little weeper wee. Got one under there as well, one there. Other than that, once again, it's a really nice shave. Now I'm going to finish off with some Codex, there's a little bit of water on my face. Some Codex Beauty Skin Superfood. Once again, one squirt of that, just a tiny amount of cream. Like so. Beautiful. So there we have it. Another wonderful shave with Heritage Hill Shave Company. This one was Independence Hall. New labels, ingredients on the new tubs. The scent on this one's got cedar wood, I think the new one's got sandalwood. It's a very, very woodsy forward scent. It's got a slight zing to it, but it's not citrusy. It's just got a zing to it. That weep is a cracker. But it's a great scent. I'm just not a big fan of super, super strong woodsy scents. The brush was my 25mm Stripe Gold Shave Cross Rhodium Knot. The handles here are made by Matt Martin, who used to be a brush guy, and this knot is handmade in Australia in the Australian Capital Territory by Serjan Danicic. The straight razor was also from Strike Gold Shave, this was a gift from Frank as well. Uh, it's a I actually really like the look of this razor, and now that it shaves well, it shaves fantastically well. Of course, I am still getting weepers and, and slices and cuts and stuff, but that's me, that's nothing to do with the razor itself. So a massive shout out to Frank for those. I did finish off today once again with the car, Christopher Bradley razor, the stainless steel with the A-plate, and uh, I think I've still got the Bic in here. Let me have a look. Yeah, still got the Bic Platinum Chrome in there, which is a fantastically sharp and very smooth blade. In fact, it's getting even smoother the more I'm breaking it in every time I have a little bit of use. And finished off with Codex Beauty. So all in all, other than that one weeper, that, that's a good slice, but that will heal up nicely. I'm very happy, a little bit of redness here and there, but I mean, I'm by no means a cracking straight razor shaver. I just enjoy it, I'm getting better with it, and I'm looking forward to trying out some different razors and different um, different grinds. These gold dollars are both hollow ground. I'm really looking forward to trying sort of half grind, three quarter grind wedgies and things like that. So I'm looking forward to trying them as well, just to see how they feel, whether it makes any difference. But like I say, I've got a little bit of redness and things, but my skin, it's not on fire. I don't have any irritation that's that's worth even mentioning. It just looks a little bit red. And other than that, I am done and dusted. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.